Hey guys, so I uh, made a little video. I guess I should have called it part one, but uh, <laughs> whenever I process my ram, I uh, cut the fingers off to begin with. You know, I use my handy shears. Um, work good, clean cuts. Right at the edge, you know, sometimes them uh, sticks can have uh, MLCCs pretty close and everyone's bit into them, I'm sure. But these, them snips there, they work better than them, them uh, little tin snips that we always use for different things. I take the boards and these are in the HCL that was in there previously. Uh, added some fresh uh, peroxide a little bit and put the bubbler in just to let it run. Um, that's in the other video, the start of that. I, uh, take my fingers, got them in this modified little old acid bottle, and I'm going to put some, some fresh hydrochloric acid, some peroxide in here with this bubbler. So, uh, let me get my mask on. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back now. So what we're going to do... Start by filling this uh, up with some HCl. That's not quite enough. I'm going to need to modify this to uh, get all this stuff into the bottom there. I'll be back. Alright, I'm back. So I ended up, uh, I actually had a little bit of HCl uh, downstairs. I added a little bit of water, but uh, with all this extra room right here, I imagine, you know, there was there would be something better I could have used that would probably keep them them uh, fingers more separated and uh, allow them to be in more of the acid freely and not so bunched up uh, I have an ice cream pail from the store that would fit in here perfectly uh, could have used less acid uh, probably uh, it'll worked a lot better but there's still ice cream in there and uh, oh it's just Thinking of what I could use, most people use a, a bucket inside of a bucket, which is ideal. Um, I just, it's 5 in the morning and I just wanted to get this out before I got to go do my class for asbestos. Uh, but anyhow, that was just the HCL. Next, I'll uh, add some of this uh, peroxide. There's, I never really measure, I just... Uh, add whatever you know I, I imagine uh, that's about a quarter of a probably about maybe 200 mils in there 300 mils uh, with the whole gallon of HCl as you see the colors already starting to change on this I'm still not decided but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end up stopping this and uh, getting a better container that'll allow more of the foils once they come off to or this the fingers to be able to move around more freely I don't think I like them bunched up like that but uh that's how I do them uh, I'll make another video once the processing comes once these foils are off I imagine it'll take about four days three to four days and these will be falling off and then I'll show how I clean them up and go from there. Have a good day.